Welcome to our special economic forecast here on RT. The elements are showing little mercy, and as they say, it never rains but it pours. And that seems to be the case for some countries in Eastern Europe. An economic earthquake has hit the whole region, shaking national economies to the core. The Baltic states will find it hardest to recover, with their hopes for help from their Western neighbours fading away. The European Union can provide credits, but now, when uh, even uh, in Western Europe credits are hard to obtain, uh, the problems for these countries will be even greater. Latvia is facing a true financial drought with foreign investments almost evaporating. All its rates are down and that's according to the Standard & Poor Ratings Agency. Gross product has dropped by more than 10% in late 2008, the worst result among all 27 European Union countries. So as you can see, Latvia's economy has had a tempestuous time. The country is seeking help from the International Monetary Fund, but many doubt it will happen anytime soon. Latvia's credit rating cut to junk. The country's government resigned a week ago, which further complicates the situation. Uh, they try to tie their economies to the European Union, and they try to uh, lessen the amount of uh, contacts, uh, economic contacts with Russia to a minimum. When the economic crisis hit, uh, instead of having uh, two supports, they had just one. Standard & Poor is also set to downgrade the ratings of Latvia's sister republics, Lithuania and Estonia, which means the storm has affected them almost as much. If the EU really wanted to help, it would help. That needs a political will. But as far as it hasn't happened yet, the EU left the Baltic states on their own. This intemperate crisis seems to be moving far inland with another obvious epicenter found in Ukraine. Ukraine's economy is laying in ruins. The country's gross product has fallen by 20% in January year on year, badly affecting many people. Almost a million unemployed have already been officially registered and their number is expected to increase fivefold by the end of the year. Ukraine is close to default. Its rating is now the lowest in Europe and now matches the likes of Pakistan. Standard & Poor left the outlook negative, suggesting there may be even worse to come. The IMF gave Ukraine $4 billion of a standby credit, but is holding back from further handouts. The current political instability and high level of corruption in the country makes the situation even worse. A sovereign default is now an entirely possible scenario. Well, as you can see, the prospects are gloomy for Eastern Europe, and it's likely to get even worse as Standard & Poor forecasts a region-wide crisis. That's all for now. I'm Marie Finoshna.